I thought it was really, it was really touching to me, and I was really feeling it until he got up there and started talking. What an idiot he is. I mean, what's a stupid lie? Why when you get caught and keep on lying? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he did point blank say that he should shoot those, those two men. No, he, and he forgot to mention that his girlfriend said she sees big boys, likes them, and they have to. No, yeah, it's, it's disgusting. I just wish he would have went to Capitol Hill Sunshine. But, you know, that's going to teach more of us to get up there and vote. <laughs> and overall, you know, the three consecutive uh, life in prisons without parole, how do you feel about it? Maybe she'll smile. It's not going to take that long. We're not going to have to waste that much money on them, I guarantee it. <laughs> Amy, do you want to say anything? Just about. Can I say one more thing? Yeah. Can I say hi to my auntie? Hi, Auntie Pat, Auntie Linda. Thank you. Will you guys please put that on? I promise. <laughs> I am very I happy without him. I was very stressful leading up to just the two weeks we waited again. Um, I'm really grateful it was consecutive. I, his comments were, again, okay, a nice surprise. Uh, we're done this time. There's no coming back. So. Well, unless he feels. Um, it was really hard not to turn around. To look at him. Uh, I that man's taken power with everybody throughout this process, and I'm dead for that one. I, I was very nervous speaking. I didn't want to. Sorry, I didn't want to slip up on my words too much. But that's how I felt. So I practiced a lot. <laughs> yeah. And what did you think about him standing up to making his statements about I, not killing your brother? I honestly think that he, the statement is made for his next appeal. Yeah, that's it. That's because there's, he, initially they're going to file him, which is fine. So he's going to try to process. I think he's disgusting. <clears throat> there's no question as to who did it. We didn't just assume it was Brent. We would have never assumed it had Brie not survived. So, and that in itself, him bringing up the other officer, the lead detective, was just grasping at straws in him. Tell what do you want people to remember about your brother? That he's funny. My brother, my brother was my best friend. He was a jerk. He, not a jerk so much, he was very smart ass. <laughs> but it, no matter what came out, it was not the least of the And just to remember his smile and his laugh would be the most important thing to me. Tell us about why you went up with the pictures. Why, why you said what you said. <coughs> Well, I sat there almost a week of seeing my brother in every awful way possible and my cousin. And I feel like before the end of it, I wanted people to see Joe alive. Oh, his smile. His smile. It, it was the most beautiful smile. His laugh was so catchy. So, like his boss said, it's, it just it will make you smile. Um, I want the courts to understand it. I wanted it to be on record how much it has impacted our family, what we are going through, but I didn't want to direct it to the defendant because he's taken so much from us. I'm not going to give him that much more. I enjoyed giving him my statement. <laughs> that was kind of nice. She planned it. No, I really didn't plan it at all, you know. But you, know, you was out here with us. I, sometimes I think justice ain't fair, you know. That, that man killed three people, tried to kill another one, beat a woman with a gun. Come on now, put somebody in check here. Who's letting that guy have a gun in the first place? You know, what were th what's her three strikes for? <laughs> you know, if they would have dropped a bell and let him out, my son would be alive. And you know, he was on a rock. You know, we're nothing but sand. That's what we are. I, when he died, that's what I thought. My, the first thing was he was our rock. Now, what are we sand? You know, he was our strength. Yeah, I know his brother, he kept his brother in mind. His brother was like, twice as big. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, he was our rock. And he had good, good qualities. He's honest and honorable, hard worker. We're dead now, though. We don't ever have oh, to take We're dead. <laughs> Last time we talked, I told you guys I finally we could breathe. I couldn't go tell Joe. I couldn't go tell Joe. I had to go back. To, I don't like the graveyard. It's not where my brother's supposed to be. And to go tell him, we're going to have to do this again. We might have to do this again. It's hard. Hearing that the, the, there really wasn't a legal basis for a new trial, which was awesome. It was him grasping. He's grasping. So, to be able to breathe, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with the rest of my life right now. I've been focused on this for a year and a half. It's, today was the year and five months state. We love the families of all the victims. We've got to know them way more than we ever did. And we will stay in touch. We're family now.